Hi, so let's get right into our programming. So in our first introductory video, we went over exactly what we are going to create. And, um, and this is what we had. So in this tutorial video, we're going to create the Bootstrap Skeleton Framework so that we have everything uh, visual um, programmed in so that we can use VGS and JavaScript to uh, toggle them on and off. So let's uh, get right into the code. So this is basically what we're going to create. So uh, I want you guys to open up your IDE or your text editor, um, whether that be Sublime Text, uh, uh, Sublime Text, Atom IO, or I'm using PHP Storm. So whatever text editor you're using, uh, make sure you have it open and let's get right into our programming. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create our um, basic HTML uh, content. I'm using Emmet, which allows me to just type an exclamation mark and then press tab. And then this appears. So first thing I'm going to do is change the document to uh, to do to do list vjs vjs to do list application and then we want to um, inside here we want to add in our jQuery our bootstrap um, our font awesome and vjs script source so let's add that right in so here we have our jQuery which is used by bootstrap and uh, you can go to jQuery.com and download this. It's very easy to download. Uh, just Google jQuery and you should be able to get the download or CDN links. Uh, I'm not here to show you exactly where to go download because downloading it is really easy. Just make sure, or you can even just copy straight this code and that should work as well. But uh, just Google jQuery and you should be able to find the download links. And then go. Uh, you have Bootstrap, which is two files, which is a Bootstrap CSS file, and then the Bootstrap JavaScript file. I have the minified version for both of these so that we can reduce load time. And then we have our font awesome. Now, I have included it here. We aren't actually going to use font awesome, but font awesome is used uh, by Bootstrap quite a lot. And I believe it's a very awesome application because it gives you really beautiful looking icons uh, at the ease of your fingertips. Now there are other options than Font Awesome, but I just wanted to promote Font Awesome a bit because it makes develop uh, development really easy for web developers, and it allows you to include um, design elements that makes your applications that much more beautiful and elegant. So uh, it's always good to have something like this in the background so that when you want to use it, it's always there for you. So that's why I have included this. However, in this tutorial series, we weren't actually going to use Font Awesome, but it's good to use, it's used in conjunction with Bootstrap quite a bit, so I will leave it in there. Once again, you can Google Font Awesome and then you can get the CDN links quite easily and make sure you always get the most recent version. I currently have 4.3.0, but uh, this one's 3.3.7, but make sure you always have the most recent version. And then finally for VGS CDN, we have it from unpackage.com and this one I will show you because this is a VGS tutorial and I want you guys to know exactly where I got this from. So VGS, get started and then I think we go to installation go here go to installation and we have recommended is unpackage so we go to unpackage.com and make sure you have this link right here and then copy and paste this into your uh, script source tag so that's how you include um, the uh, JavaScript uh, in the package installations so now in the next video, we'll go over how to actually uh, write the bootstrap code to make the visual appearances on our, uh, on our single page application show up.